All right, this video looks like a KSP scenario we're going to take a look at here. So we're looking at magnesium hydroxide, and we're given the solubility product constant for it at 25 degrees Celsius. And this is a multi-part question. Part A asks us to write a the balance chemical equation for the dissolving process. So I am going to, uh, so we're talking about the dissolving of solid magnesium hydroxide in water. So my solid magnesium hydroxide, when it dissolves, it's going to break apart and form magnesium ions and hydroxide ions. Notice how the water is not included in this reaction. That's because water, it's there before, it's there after. It's not really getting made or used up. So you can think of it as being kind of like a spectator. So it's not included in our reaction because, yeah, it's not really a reactant or a product. All right, now I'm going to write my K expression for this reaction. So K expressions are products over reactants, right? Coefficients become exponents. So my hydroxide gets squared and then I leave out solids and liquids. So I'm gonna leave out my reactant because that's a pure solid. And then C says, determine the molar solubility. So whenever you see molar solubility, think X in your ice chart. So I'm going to set up an ice chart. I'll use a different color pen here. I C E. I'm just setting it up right underneath this equation I wrote earlier. In my ice chart, I'm going to draw a squiggly line through my reactant because it's a solid, so it's not part of my K calculation. And we are dissolving this. This question should have said um, in pure water. I should have clarified what scenario we're talking about. So we're assuming we're dissolving magnesium hydroxide in pure water. And that tells us that our initial concentration of these ions is going to be zero because it's starting out in pure water. And then as my solid dissolves, we're going to make some ions in a one to two ratio. So now I'm going to go and plug these numbers into my K expression, which remember I wrote right over here. So here's my K expression. Now I'm going to plug in what I know. So I know the value of K is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 11. I know that magnesium, I'm using the letter X to represent magnesium. Oh, I just realized I left off, whoops, the plus two charge. Okay, so X is my magnesium. 2X is my hydroxide. Don't forget to square it, right? So don't forget to square. And when you simplify that all becomes 4x cubed and then you're just going to rearrange and solve for x right so if you want to see the algebra here i'm going to divide both sides by four so there we go divide both sides by four and then i'm going to take the cube root, and that will give me x which is my molar solubility and when i plug that in my calculator it looks like i'm getting um 1.7 times 10 to the one two three four 10 to the negative 4. My units here are molarity because this is a, a this is a type of a KC expression. So the values that go into my KC expression are always in molarity. That's kind of by definition here. So that looks like that's my molar solubility. Just so you know, the way it showed up in my calculator is 0 0.0001651. What I did is I rounded to two sig figs and I wrote it in scientific notation. Feel free to leave it in standard notation if you want to. That's always a fine choice as well. Thanks for watching.